Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Bench 73. My name is Eddie, I'm your host of the show. Tonight we're going to talk about how to solder a copper pipe together for plumbing applications. I don't recommend any high pressure or anything past 150 PSI. Do not solder, you have to braze that. I have another video in the future showing you how to braze copper. But for right now we're just going to uh, sweat some copper together. That's what the uh, trade term is. Plumbers like to use it called sweating copper. But what it is, all we're doing is basically soldering. What you want to use is some uh, lead-free solder, uh, mainly silver bearing solder is really good. You also want some flux and also a propane torch. You don't have to use map gas for soldering. You don't have to use acetylene oxygen. Uh, that's more along the lines of brazing. So like I said, all we're going to do tonight is we're just going to learn how to solder some pipe together. First thing what you want to do is you want to prepare your surfaces before you solder. You want to take some... Uh, Heavy grit sandpaper and kind of just rough up the edges a little bit, kind of paint it up. Just gives it a nice rough surface for the uh, solder to get into, hold on to. You want to do all your surfaces. Let's make it shiny. So what you want to do, we're going to clamp this down into a vise. You wouldn't have a vise if you're doing plumbing work, but we're just doing that for right now, just as a, for the video. Then what you want to do is you want to take your flux paste, comes with a little brush, you want to apply it a decent amount to the surface you want to uh, solder together. So you're going to be pretty liberal with it. You also want to do inside your coupling. You can get the couplings with the stop or without the stop. Usually you just want to get the ones with the stop if you're just putting a cupping joint in. I said you want to put on a pretty liberal. This is three quarter inch copper tabing. That's what you will find in your homes most of the time unless they went to the, uh, the PEX piping or CPVC. But most of the time a lot of the older houses still have the copper in them. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your, your fittings together where you want them. Get your torch heated up. Put it on the copper. You don't want to hold it in one spot because you can burn a hole in your copper. But you want to get that fitting heated up before your pipe. So if you get your pipe too hot, you go through and blow a hole through it. Not so much with propane, but if you're using that gas or acetylene, you can blow a hole through your pipe pretty quick. What you want to do is just kind of heat it up, make sure it's a nice even heat. Every now and then just tack your solder to it, see if it starts melting. Sort of like brazing, but without, without the high temperature. Also with that flux, where you put the flux to keep that pipe clean, they won't oxidize on there. Once you start seeing the puff, Good roll some more solder up to the bottom of that joint. Good heat that back up. Start seeing the flux bubble in the, inside the coupling. It's usually a good sign you're at the right temperature. Make sure you get all around there so there's no holes. And that's how you sweat on a copper fitting. Also, if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll keep more videos coming. Like I said, this is a variety show, so we're going to do many, many things. If you all have any ideas of any things you want to see, or you want to see me try to do, go ahead and give me a comment below. 